Teams of a recent deadly flooding in Kenya are still struggling to come to terms with the impact of the devastating disaster that struck their communities. As, it, as rescue operations continued, families as reminiscent over the, on the advanced damages caused by the fast floods, which has led to the death of 100 people. Let's have more details of that in this report. Jen Wamboy, a 64-year-old mother of 15, has become one of the faces of the Maimahu tragedy. Her voice, trembling yet resolute, cut through the chaos of the ongoing rescue operations in central Kenya. Her family was caught off guard by the swift rise of the water in the middle of the night. As she stood amidst what remains of her once cozy home, the depth of her sorrow was clear. I never imagined something like this could happen to us. We've lost everything. My cows, my crops, they're all gone. Where shall I run to for help? As the search for the missing continues, the people of Mai Mahiu stand together, united in grief, but also in strength. Another survivor, Neheson Igeria, has spent the last two days searching for his cousin. She was swept away by the torrents of water while in her sleep, never to be seen again. We suspect she could be right in this spot where we are standing because all her belongings are right here. The Kenyan military is spearheading the ongoing search and recovery efforts. But the task before them is huge. And the other rescue teams here face many challenges as they try to assist the affected residents. We are doing the, the rescue with, the, with our bare hands. The machineries that are there, uh, before they get into here, uh, some of them we, you can feel, we hear that they are not well. It's a process, it's a process, and it's very challenging. The town of Maimahio has long been known as a key rest stop for long distance truck drivers. For years, drivers have relied on it for key services and basic amenities, including places where they can take dinner, motels and fuel stations. But the latest floods have left businesses struggling to stay afloat. An operation to find missing people is continuing with more support expected to arrive in the affected areas. For those who survived this tragedy, the journey to rebuild their lives and find closure has only started.